to the news, my wonderful people. On today's report, Anambra Governor Soludo dumps P2B, reveals preferred presidential candidates. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you are joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Going straight to the news. Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo has declared support for the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, Justice Peter Umadi. This is even as the governor kicked against the ambition of the Labour Party presidential candidate, P2B, saying the P2B movements are offshoot of the People's Democratic Party. In a statement by his special advisor on political matters, Dr. Alex Obobolo, the former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, claimed that ABGA remains the third largest political party in the country. Soludo, who believes that the main opposition party was not fair to the Southeast by zoning its presidency to North, said, supporting any other party may affect the chances of ABGA in 2023 general elections. He said, ABGA remains the third largest political party in Nigeria, considering the number of political offices it has won. ABGA has a state governor, members of the National Assembly, and members of the state assemblies. ABGA does not consider the wave of the obedient movement as a threat towards achieving its set goals in 2023. The Labour the, the Labour Party and the obedient movement are offshoots of the PDP. Therefore, they pose a big threat to PDP, not APGA. Daily Post reports that Soludo, who won the Anambra governorship election in November 25th, contested under the platform of APGA. Nigerians have, however, reacted to this. Obi does not need your one vote to win 2023 election. You will come to Also Rock to seek Obi's assistance in 2027. Obi is the man of the movement and he is to sit on the throne for eight years for a new Nigerian to emerge. This is what we are saying. Igbos don't cooperate with each other. Well, whatsoever so-called Soludo is not our president. Obi is going to be our president. The professor of jealousy is here again, demonstrating what he knows best. Even his ABGA that has no national speed only exists in Anambra State is what the professor of jealousy wants us to join and waste our PVC for nothing. What an envious being called Soludo. Hmm. I disagree with you. P2B is never refused. No one dumps him, but only foolish and selfish ones. Anambra and, the, and all the Southeast and Southern, Southerners are behind Obi. Don't expect the governors in other parties to openly say they are supporting P2B. Masses are supporting Obi. The governor has only one vote each to cast that day. So no worries, Nigerians. Keep pushing Obi higher to the household of comes 2023. Wasteful declaration and support. Soludo na waste. Hmm. Just say that Dr. Alex shouldn't uh, say don't drag Soludo name to this rubbish. Meanwhile, Justice Umadi himself will vote for Obi on election day. We don't even need betrayals. People will vote for Labour Party without Soludo, but he will regret that. I blame Igbos who chase money and disregard character. That idiot was disgraced by, by, by Jonathan government, but Igbos saved him. Now he has turned his back on the Igbos. Now he's, he is at the top and he's, you know, grinding his teeth. He will end on the wrong side of history, just like Uzodimma. This man is talking nonsense out of jealousy. And I noticed this that anytime he is interviewed and the name of Pito B is mentioned, 
This is now, it is now that I know that Charles Soludo isn't decent. Remember, he is part of the administration that led Nigerians to this mess that we are in today. Governor Soludo, Labour Party is more national in outlook than your senatorial Abgad party. It baffles me how Igbo elites are undermining P2B despite other tribes celebrating him. This goes to show how wicked and hateful you guys are. Tomorrow, you want us to vote and you want others to support you. Hypocrites. Hmm. Do you expect a sitting governor to support someone in the opposition while his party has a candidate? I wish the Igbo promote ABGA into national party, reaching networks and collaborations uh, with others across other regions. PDP has done so much damage to the Southeast politics and, uh, and, uh, and APC. This is what Ashweja, uh, Ashweju Tinibu has done. Governor Soludo is only interested in his second term big. He is not after the general interest of the masses for a better Nigeria. However, he is a lonely voice in this matter. Obi will continue to soar higher like the eagles. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Hmm. I'm really, really sorry for Soludo. You know, his coming up against uh, Peter Obi will really affect his political career. Most youth will also agree with me that Soludo is our next Igbo president after Peter Obi because they both speak the same uh, economic language. But often, uh, unfortunately for Soludo, this same youth that you know that is uh, supporting supporters of Pitobi are the same youth that will support Soludo. But if he fights Pitobi now, he, he may likely not get any support from the youth if if uh, after this time. And that is very true. Governor Soludo is just on his first term in office and he's now out trying to create enmity between himself and the former uh, governor of Anambra State, P2B, which is not, you know, a very good thing for him. Because I bet you most Igbos won't take this issue lightly. They would also want him to support uh, P2B, irrespective of the fact that his party have a presidential candidate. But that doesn't mean you would want to create an enmity between yourself and P2B. It is just uncalled for. It is just an act of selfishness and wickedness. All these politicians, you know, I, I, I expected us as the Igbos, you know, to, 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 to fend for each other and look out for each other and not to bring ourselves uh, downward. I believe if we we'll come together and support P2B, then this country will be in a better place instead of going against the backs of our own and plotting for their downfall. It is very, very uncalled for. So my people, how do you see this issue? Do you really think that Soludo is just, uh, you know, dumping P2B because of uh, his Ab Abga party is bringing in a uh, a presidential candidate? I'm dropping it here. Eh?